Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos. And today's video is another create and chat video where I answer your questions while creating art in real time, or in this case, slightly sped up. So I am filming this video a bit differently compared to my previous create and chat videos. So in the past, what I would do is I would sit down, create art and answer questions at the same time. However, I was finding that a bit difficult just because I would either be, you know, so focused on creating the art that I would stop talking or I would be so focused on answering a question that I would stop working on the art. So for this one, I have decided to just record the um, drawing part separately without answering questions. And then now I'm recording the voiceover on top of that footage. And I've also decided to speed up this footage a bit just because, I don't know, I didn't want it to be too slow or too long. Um, and because it's only sped up a little bit, you can still see like a lot of what I'm doing. So please let me know what you guys would prefer. Do you like it being sped up to be a slightly shorter video? Or would you prefer it to be in real time and a longer video? So yeah, please let me know in the comments. Um, to begin with, I want to talk about this piece that I'm working on at the moment. So I did a little thumbnail of this piece a few weeks ago in my sketchbook and it's one of my ideas that I've had for a painting. And now that I've decided that I'm going to actually start the painting, I am redrawing it a little bit bigger just on another piece of paper. And I know I could draw this straight onto the wood panel that I'm going to paint it on. However, I did start drawing it on there and I was finding it a bit difficult and sometimes it's just easier to do the drawing on paper first and then transfer it onto the um, canvas or wood panel. And that's what I'm going to do for this video. Um, I did struggle a bit with this drawing so I'm glad that I did do this because I was erasing a fair bit. And yeah, so once I have finished the drawing You'll see I then take a photo of it, I um, put it on the computer, I enlarge it, get it the right size, and then I print it out. And then I can transfer it onto the wood panel. Um, and yeah, I don't really show much of the enlarging and that kind of thing, um, but if you do want maybe a tutorial on how to do that, I can think about making a video like that. Um, and yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that. And yeah, so that's pretty much what's happening in this video. So I will move on to the questions from my previous Create and Chat video. And I've got one here from Rachel and they've asked, would you ever consider being a tattoo artist? In short, yes, um, it's definitely an area that I have considered or at least, you know, thought of something that I could do. Um, you know, when you think of being an artist, there are many different areas you can go into um, and being a tattoo artist has crossed my mind. Um, I haven't really pursued it or anything, it's not like I like I'm like, I really want to be a tattoo artist, you know, I enjoy doing what I do and making YouTube videos. Um, and also, I don't actually have any tattoos myself, so if I was going to be a tattoo artist or um, see what it's like, I would prefer to have at least some tattoos and kind of know a bit more about them. Um, but yeah, I think it would be... It'd be fun. Might be, be a little bit intimidating knowing that I'm permanently putting art on somebody's body, but again, that could be cool. Um, so yeah, I would definitely consider it. Like, if I got the opportunity to try it and see what it's like, then I would totally try it. Okay, and we've also got a question from my little corner. And they've asked, can I draw one of your drawings, but I will totally tell that it was originally by you and I tried to recreate it. So I feel like I've gotten this question a fair bit lately uh, where people really like my art and they're like, I want to redraw this. Um, 
and my stance on that is if it's just for personal use and it's just so you can practice I'm fine with that um, obviously I don't want you selling it or claiming that it's your original idea when it's not um, and that kind of thing and I would prefer if it wasn't posted online um, if it is then obviously credit tag me show me um, let everybody know that it's not your original design you have just recreated my art but in saying that I would prefer it if it just wasn't online um, I would prefer it just to you know stay in your sketchbook um, for practice purposes you know I have drawn other artists work you know with the sole purpose of trying to recreate it exactly just a practice and I think it is a really great way to practice um, especially if it's a style that you like and you're struggling with it um, you know you don't want to copy them to try and make art the same as them you know that's not the point is just to just to practice get a feel for it um, and then you know kind of making your own art from that and especially if you're like copying multiple different artists um, and yeah so if you want to copy my art just to practice that's fine prefer it if you didn't post it anywhere or you know I don't know I don't know where you're gonna put it well so people will see it but you know like yeah anyway someone has also asked what is my vlog channel name and I did like reply to them in the comments section but I will answer it here so if you search Emma Marie vlogs on YouTube it should be the first channel that pops up um, and it should be linked on this channel so you should be able to find it um, I don't have a URL for it just yet because I can't get one I think it's something to do with the amount of sub subscribers I have or something um, but yeah I haven't actually posted a vlog in a little while now um, I don't know I just haven't really felt like it and yeah but I will be getting back into vlogging more um, when I go on my holiday to America in a couple of weeks now and I will probably try and vlog kind of leading up to that as well so if you want to go watch my vlogs then go check out that channel and subscribe because it helps me um, and hopefully I'll be able to get like a proper URL soon for that but yeah um, I've also got some questions here from San and I'm not gonna try pronounce your surname on there um, and the first question they've asked is how did you do the black lines in the mermaid picture so I assume you're talking about the mermaid in the in my like first creating chat videos um, and the black lines in that are just made from my Pentel brush pen which I use in like pretty much every video or well, not every video but a lot of them um, it's really great for inking and yeah I even have like a first impressions video of that pen as well if you want to check that out and they've also asked is it hard to live from your art and yes it is um, I think it's it's difficult to be a creative person um, if you're not like super famous or anything um, I mean personally I don't live off my art yet it is a goal of mine um, and I'm working towards it but it's not easy and being an artist or any kind of creative person it's not so much you know yeah you go to work from nine to five and you get X amount per hour you know it's totally different and you kind of need to think of it as you know not just one income source but you have to kind of have multiple income sources you know like for me I'm an artist and I'm a youtuber so ways I can earn money are you know from the ads from my videos um, 
on YouTube, a lot of people do sponsorships and that kind of thing. I can sell prints of my art. Um, I do sell t-shirt designs. And yeah, I mean, there are many other things you can do, you know. There are artists that make books. There are artists that teach online classes. There's like a lot of different ways you can earn money. It's just a matter of thinking of them and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it definitely is not easy. Um, personally, I would prefer to have a job that I enjoy where I'm not earning as much money compared to a job that would earn me lots of money, but I would hate my job and my life. So yeah, it really depends, you know, what what you want to do, um, you know, being an artist isn't for everybody. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's all the questions that I received on my previous video. So I will talk a little bit more about the piece now. So as you can see, the transfer didn't work very well. I find the transfer paper doesn't work that great on certain surfaces. And for some reason it didn't like this wood panel. Um, I'm not sure why, but yeah. So as you can see now, I am kind of drawing back over those faint lines um, because it did transfer through enough that I could just see it. Um, so yeah, sometimes this happens where you have to just kind of draw back over it again. Um, so yeah. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comments on this video because that means I might answer them in my next creating chat video and keep an eye out for this finished painting. Um, I'm not sure when I will finish it or when the video is going up, um, but it should be sometime relatively soon. And yeah, so that is all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. And then I've got some small studies of my ice cream girls.